going on everyone welcome rabbit here and today i'm going to show you how you can merge mine with your cpus in this case we're going to be merge mining kyla coin with Lincoin or Linecoin. So just for a fast background story, Lincoin here was actually made by the exact same devs as Kyla Coin, and it was originally on the Bitcoin chain, SHA-256 and merged mined with Bitcoin. But ever since they did move away from FPGAs and ASICs and everything on Kyla Coin, they now forked Lincoin into the same flex algorithm, and now you can merge mine the two together on your CPUs. Now don't get merge mine mixed up with dual mining dual mining is what we do do on our gpus that is pointing your core base of your gpu to a core base coin and your memory side of your gpu to a memory coin and you are using more power you're losing a little bit of hash rate on both algorithms there but you are mining both coins at the same time that is dual mining now merge mining is done at the pool level i'm not sure all the background shenanigans that go on in it but you do need the exact same algorithm for it to play out and this is the exact same thing that litecoin and dogecoin do utilize here and that's how you're mining both at the same time and there's no extra power consumption used at the wall and it's the exact same hash rate on each coin so let's show you how to get this up and running all right so the first thing you're going to need for both coins is obviously a wallet so for kyla coin you can come to their website here simply click on wallets and it will bring you down to a windows wallet linux mac os mac os arm 64 and the source code as well as a web wallet and then coming in the link coin same type of thing here click on wallets and it'll bring you down to pretty much the exact same options i just went with the web wallet for link coin it was nice and easy to set up Next up, you are going to need a miner and SRB miner multi. The latest version is currently 2.59. You do not need the latest version, but it's always recommended to download the latest version, especially if you plan on mining something like Zealous as well later on or something. So now let's take a look at some pools. And as we can see for Kyla coin, we do have Z pool. We have Viper. We have Monero Ocean, M pool, coin miners, mining for people, Cedric's mining pool. We got Eve pool, altcoin pool. Uh, two of them here and then obviously zerg pool which seems to be having issues with something going on there but not all of them support merge mining so every pool you see here only supports kyla coin a few of these do actually support the merge mining but we'll take a look at that right now jumping into lint coin these are the supported pools that are doing the merge mining here we have z pool m pool coin miners and zerg pool now z pool and zerg pool these guys are actually profit switching type of pools here and it's 100 percent sell pressure usually anybody on these is swapping over to litecoin or swapping over to bitcoin or something and it's causing massive sell pressure which we can see ever since z pool went live it is now the top pool and the price has been doing nothing but going down so if you are mining on one of those pools which zerk pool is down now so we're talking about z pool here you're actually causing the price to crash because everything that's being mined is being sold and converting to whatever coin that you want so for this tutorial we're going to be utilizing coin miners one for decentralization as we can see there's over 72 percent of the hash rate is hanging out on link coin on the one pool we did see it was the top pool currently now on kyla coin because of this feature that they added as well but we're going to be doing coin miners that way you are mining to your own wallets you're holding your coins you can hold them for a pump or sell them later on but you have full control of your coins and then it's also going to help the price from not being crashed so i would recommend anyone that's doing this right now to move over to a pool like coin miners and hopefully you know maybe viper and all the other pools depending on how this coin does it'll pretty much be like the go-to for this type of mining pools as we know litecoin originally before dogecoin was a big thing everything was only on litecoin and then a couple pools started adding dogecoin now the majority of all the profits is coming from dogecoin over litecoin so all pools kind of have to update to this or they may be left behind but again it depends how Lincoin actually does long term right now it's doing nothing but crash but that's mostly due to the fact that everyone is currently on z pool all right so now that you got all that stuff figured out and understand it if you're still unsure exactly what's going on let me know down in the comments section and i'll try to answer your questions so here we are over at coin miners and the setup process is pretty easy you just fill it out like you normally would i will be going through both windows as well as hive os for you guys 
But here you can see for your algorithm, this is the Flex algorithm. Another thing, it's a nice, efficient algorithm, low power, as well as doesn't give off too much heat. So on those hot summer days, this is a nice thing to actually mine to keep them temperatures down and your rigs running. That's another reason why I do want to do this video today and point my rigs to this. Now you set your wallet up here. This will be your KyloCoin wallet address as well as your worker name. And then to get your LinkCoin address, you just set that as your password here, and that'll begin the merge mining process. Process. So here we are starting off in Windows. We are jumping into SRB Miner. They already have a pre made bat file called Start Mining Kyla. Once you do download it and extract it. So coming into here, you can see algorithm is already flexed. So we are going to have to adjust our pool here. So I'm just going to move this back and I'm just going to take this right here. It is, is the US stratum. Copy this, paste that in where the pool parameters are. Now I need my Kyla coin wallet which is right here, Kyla coin. I'm just going to take my wallet address here, right click, copy that, paste that in right about here, like so. Now I'm going to put a space dash P and then I'm going to put in my parameters that I need for Litecoin, so our Lincoin. So we're going to come into here, copy this, bring this up, and now I'm just going to go space, paste that in, but I'm going to adjust this parameter here now to my Lincoin address. So I'm gonna bring up my wallets again here. I'm gonna go into my Lincoin address, copy this, right click, copy, reduce that, paste that in. And I guess I do want my worker name that will go under your Kyla coin here. So I'm just gonna go rabid workstation like so. And this is all it is. I'll kind of have this copy and paste it down in the description. That way you can copy and paste it. Hopefully YouTube will allow it all to go in so it doesn't confuse you. But I'll have this whole line right here in there and then make sure you do adjust this right here to your address, change your worker name as well as your Kyla coin address or you will end up mining to me. You know, it's okay if you want to donate to me, but I recommend that you mine to your own addresses. So once you're done all that, simply go to file and save that. So one more thing I do want to point out that you guys should have up and running is that most likely you will want to run SRB miner as an administrator. So I urge you guys to right click here, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. That way it'll install, you know, the huge pages and everything it needs to get the hash rate boost and stuff. And then scrolling down, you can see where Kyla coin is all on its own right about here. So start mining Kyla. So this is the bat file that you would edit. Now that you got everything all saved up, double click on this file right here. It's going to start the mining process and it should kick in. It'll ask for admin purposes and permissions. As you can see, first time run it. Yep. Run anyway. Yes. Run as admin. Close out the background. And here we can see it will now start mining. So you can see I did set this up. Oh, I accidentally have 32 threads in. I like to run 30 in my workstation. That way I can do some stuff in the background. So I'm going to go back into that and show you how to add the threads in for this. Okay. Okay, so now you can see it's using 30 threads instead of 32. And the process is pretty simple here. All you got to do is come in and go dash dash CPU dash threads space and then the number of threads you want to use. In this case, I'm using 30 of 32 threads. All right, so now that we got Windows out of the way, let's jump into Hive OS and set this up. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your wallets here and add your wallet. You're only going to need to use your Kyla coin wallet because we put our Lincoin wallet name in our password, remember, from the Windows tutorial. So we're going to type our coin in here. We're going to go KCN, and you can see Kyla coin is in here by default. Now we're going to adjust our wallet here, wherever it is, right here. Kyla coin, copy this, paste it in right here, and then I'm going to enter my wallet name. I'm just going to call it Kyla coin wallet node that's what mine is i'm running the node wallet for this not the web browser one for kyla coin so i'm going to create this wallet and that's all we got to do so we're going to come into our workers here make sure they're all online yes they are currently running inspector we're going to go to our flight sheets here and now adjust everything where they need to be so type it in our coin here we need kcn right there wallet we're going to pick kyla coin wallet node the one we just set up for our pool i'm going to choose i guess we're going to go with configure in the miner and then for our miner we're going to go srb click on that and then we're going to name this uh let's go kcn plus lincoin merge mining there we go that way i know that it's set up for the merge mining here set up minor config so we're going to select our algorithm here this is flex algorithm 
Now for our wallet, we're gonna click our wallet here. I'm gonna choose worker name for this as well. So I'm just gonna put it here, right click copy. I'm gonna paste that in right there. I'm gonna get rid of it from here. Now server port and everything. This is where we're gonna put in the same parameters that we did. So we gotta go back into our pool. Gonna find the stratum and everything. For me, I'm gonna go with USA. So I'm picking US stratum coin miners 3348. Come back up here and I'm gonna paste that in there. I don't think we need the TCP and stratum, but if I do, I'll just come back and fix it. Now for our password, we're gonna to have to put in those same wallet parameters that we did in Windows. And that was this command right here. So LCN equals, and then your Lincoin wallet address. So everything here looks like it's doing what it should be doing. So I'm just gonna hit the apply changes, create that flight sheet, and then I'm gonna put this on one rig only. I always put it on one rig first, just to make sure everything is working. I have ran into an issue once, it only happened one time, but I put it on all the rigs and then the download kind of failed here and I had to reinstall every rig Hive OS version from scratch. So you don't want to run to that issue. Always test it on one rig first and then move it to all the other rigs. So I'm going to come into rig one right here, hit my flight sheet, come down. It'll be the first one under your star is always your latest flight sheet you just made. And I'm going to send that one to the moon. All right, and here we can see it download the latest version of SRB Miner, and now it is connecting to the pool, and we are starting to see some hash rates. So, so far, everything's looking all good. Now I can tell all my rigs to go to this, so I'm going to come back into here. I'm going to click on this right here and just kind of deselect anything I don't want selected. Get rid of all these, all these. And then I'm going to come up to the top here, click on the little rocket ship here. I'm going to find KylaCoin, KCN, which is right here. And then right now you can see KCM plus Litecoin merge mining. Click on that, hit apply, and now it's going to install the latest SRB miner on all my rigs. And left you already have it, then you don't have to worry about it. But now it'll point my entire farm over to this merge mining Kyla coin plus Lin coin. All right, so it does look like everything is up and mining now, but there's one thing I wanna point out and that is the port you use will determine if you're mining to the pool and mixing it with everyone else or solo mining. So as you can see right here, when you go to rig one, you can see in my flight sheet right here, we use port 3348 and in Windows, I did use port wherever it is, 3548. This port right here is actually solo mining. So I just found that out when I come into the dashboard and scroll down to my rigs, you can see on solo mode here, my rabid workstation pops up. And then in shared mode, you can see where I have my other rigs coming in from Hive OS. So I do wanna point out that one is solo mining, one is shared mining. So don't get your ports mixed up. I will have both of them linked down in that description so you know which one is solo and which one is pool mining. But yeah, here's all our rigs. It just updated again. But yeah, shared and solo mining. Now I do want to point out just how efficient this algorithm is. I did do a previous video on Kyla coin hash rates on the flex algorithm since the fork. A 3900X is only 88 watts complete system. But for an example here, depending on the amount of rigs you have, Coming in and looking at the power here, you can see I'm sitting at 3,971 watts and bouncing around here. But when I was mining Spectre and RandomX uses even more power, I was at 4,995. So I dropped like a thousand watts plus at the wall moving to the flex algorithm on all these rigs that are sitting on this breaker. And finally, for all of you that care about profitability, currently on a single 3900X, merge mining these two coins, that's about 64.5 cents before any types of power costs. All right, guys, so thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully this did help you get up and running to coin miners, helping out the networks, adding a little bit of decentralization, and maybe helping that price as well because there are way too many people hanging out on zpool currently thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one rabbit out